So these are the effects that people mainly use to make a shake in a light motion. Oscillate is quite simple, and you can make almost all kind of shakes with it. And with random displacement you can make hard shakes and camera shakes. And auto shake is just like random displacement, but with more control. And this is the shake that I am gonna make in this video, it's quite basic and simple. And like always the preset is pinned in the comment section. So I have already made a transition. And you may not know but in some cases your transition also affects your shake. So first go to add effects and add tiles effects. Enable mirror and crop it a little. This is something that you will have to do every time you make a shake or a transition. Now add motion blur. And if you have made a zoom transition like me then you might get a zoom blur like this. This makes your shakes a little more blurry, but you can also disable this. Now go to add effects and add oscillate. Here you have to only focus on these three things. With angle you can adjust the angle of the shake. And with frequency you can adjust the speed of the shake. And magnitude is for the strength. Now increase the magnitude. You can copy my settings if you want. So first we are gonna set the values and after that we will start animating it. Your device might lag a lot while making this. That's why I recommend to make heavy effects and shakes in a different project. You can increase the frequency if you want hard shakes. And for angle, if you want horizontal shake set it to 0 degrees, and for vertical set it to 90 degrees. And once you are done setting the values start animating the magnitude. Once you are done with the settings go to magnitude and make a graph. Graph is a very important thing, let me show you with an example. Here I am using the default graph or you can say the linear curve, and if I change the curve you can see how much difference it makes. Anyway now copy this graph. Our shake is almost ready. Now you just have to mess with angle and frequency. If you want to make your shake a little more shaky then you can animate the angle, or else leave it. Copy my graph or you can also try different graphs. Now let's render it, and see how it turns out. I think it's too hard so let me do some adjustments. And there are timestamps, so you can also easily skip this boring part.
I tried animating the frequency, but it didn't turned out like I expected. And in this video I also forgot to enable the scale blur so don't do that. Now this looks good. Now let's make a shake with random displacement. As it sounds it makes a random shake, so there's no angle here. And just like frequency and oscillate here is it's called evolution. It's a little different from frequency as it moves randomly. This isn't an off-topic thing that's why I am not gonna explain this that much. Seed also randomly moves your layer just like evolution. You can combine both oscillate and random displacement to make an edgy shake. Anyway that's all for this video.